Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. Today we are going to talk about the difference between Consumer Price Index and Wholesale Price Index. So friends, without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we will discuss inflation. Inflation is the rate of increase in the prices of goods and services over a period of time that we use on a daily basis. It is the general and sustained rise in the overall price of goods and services. To be more specific, it is the overall increase in the cost of living in a country. Just for an example, for certain goods like clothes or services like hair styling, irrespective of the context, inflation indicates how much expensive the relative basket of goods and services has become over a period of time, say one year. There are two measures of calculating inflation, wholesale price index and consumer price index. Consumer price index. Consumer price index measures the changes in the prices of goods and services at retail level, which is purchased, used and consumed by the reference population or households. Consumer price index is also known as cost of living index. It measures the average change in the retail prices of set of goods that are used by consumers on a regular basis. Here, I will give you one example so that you can understand CPI clearly. Suppose CPI for industrial workers in 2010 is 100 and in December 2021 is 314. This implies that in 2010, the consumer was able to get a basket of goods at rupees 100 for which he has to pay rupees 314 in 2021, which indicates how expensive the goods have become over time. At present, this index is now being prepared with base year 2012, that is 100. Further, if you want to know how much price of a particular commodity has increased over time, then you can use this formula to calculate the change. Now we will look into the group-wise weight distribution for different series of consumer price index for industrial workers. This data is released in the year 2016 where food and beverages are given 39.17% weight, pan tobacco and intoxicants are given 2.07% weight, fuel and light is given 5.5% weight, housing is given 16.87% weight, clothing and footwear is given 6.08% weight and miscellaneous is given 30.31% weight. Here groups like food and beverages and miscellaneous are further subdivided. Additionally, these weights are derived based on the average family expenditure. Wholesale Price Index Wholesale Price Index is a measure that monitors the changes in the prices of goods including intermediate goods at wholesale level. It indicates the overall change in the general price level. It does not cover items relating to services such as seller services, repairing, courier services, coaching services, etc. We can understand this with an example. Suppose wholesale price index with 2014-15 as base is 287 in 2021. This means that there is a rise in the general price level by 187%. In other words, wholesale price index is a measure of average change in the prices of commodity for wholesale or bulk sale at early stages of the transaction, which gives a clear idea of recent economic trends. Now we will look into the group wise weight distribution for different series of wholesale price index. This data is released by the Office of Economic Advisor, Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. It is released on the 14th of every month or the next working day with a time lag of two weeks of the reference month. Here primary articles are allotted weight of 22.62% which includes food articles, non-food articles, minerals, crude petroleum and natural gas. Fuel and petrol are allotted weight of 13.15% which includes electricity, mineral oil and coal. Last is manufactured items which is given 64.23% weight. It includes manufacture of basic metals, chemicals and chemical products, electrical equipments, rubber and plastic products and textiles, dairy products, bakery products etc. Come, let us understand the concept of Wholesale Price Index and Consumer Price Index. As I said, Wholesale Price Index measures the changes in the prices of goods sold and traded in bulk by wholesale business enterprises to other business enterprises. Let us think this way. Suppose you go to a departmental store to buy some goods. The retailer buys that goods from a wholesaler and the wholesaler buys the same goods from a manufacturer and the manufacturer buys raw material from a farmer. 
and in this way the flow continues now if the consumer went to buy 1 kg sugar which cost him rupees 60 per kg the retailer has bought the sugar at 52 rupees per kg from a wholesaler but at the same time the retailer has ordered 100 kgs of sugar that is why he has got the sugar at this reduced price so we can say that sugar at the rate 60 rupees per kg is the price prevalent in the market for consumers whereas for retailers the price of sugar is rupees 52 per kg in the same way two prices for various goods exist in the market one at consumer level and the other at wholesale level government keeps an eye on the changes in the prices of goods and services at different levels thereafter the consumer price and the wholesale price of a basket are observed which consist of all necessary items that are used on a daily basis in this way consumer price index and wholesale price index are calculated unless otherwise specified inflation rate being referred to is normally the one based on wholesale price index now we will look into the differences between consumer price index and wholesale price index meaning consumer price index is an indicator of average change in the prices of set of goods at retail level that is consumer level on the other hand wholesale price index amounts to the average change in the prices of set of goods at wholesale level while consumer price index includes change in the prices of both essential goods and services in the imaginary basket of goods whereas wholesale price index covers changes in the prices of only goods in the imaginary basket of goods next the data related to wholesale price index is published by the office of economic advisor which works under ministry of commerce and industry on the contrary data related to consumer price index is published by national statistics office which works under ministry of statistics and program implementation while data related to consumer price index is released every month data related to wholesale price index is released every week next in consumer price index the government keeps a track on the price of goods purchased by the consumers as against in wholesale price index the government keeps a track on the prices of goods traded between business houses measurement of inflation in wholesale price index the inflation is measured by keeping an eye on the price paid at the first stage of the transaction conversely the price paid at the final stage of the transaction acts as a base to measure the inflation in case of consumer price index while base year in case of consumer price index is 2012 which is a calendar year base year in case of wholesale price index is 2011-12 which is a financial year in consumer price index more weightage is given to food items as against in wholesale price index more weightage is given to manufactured items so friends this brings me to the end of this lesson i hope the concept has been clear now however if you want to study the topic further in detail you can visit our official website that is keydifferences.com here you can find a detailed comparison of wholesale price index and consumer price index along with their definitions links are also provided in the description box below i hope you liked this video and if you did please do give it a thumbs up and share it with other people also, if you are new to this channel and want to get more such useful videos, consider subscribing this channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time a new video is uploaded on this channel. And if you have any queries or feedback for me, feel free to leave in the comment section below. Until next time, this is me Surbhi signing off.